Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today or welcome to my channel if it's your first time here. If it is your first time here, hi, my name is Roisin and I'm really glad you clicked on this video. Today's video is my quarter one update on my makeup inventory. I did put up an introduction where I went through all the opening totals and the goals that I want to hit this year and I said I was going to do quarterly check-ins just to keep my like a track on those goals and keep myself accountable for them. So today is the first of those and it is mainly my makeup one. I am also going to just squish my perfume update into this video as well, but it's mainly makeup. So let's get on into it. Just to recap on the opening values, my makeup collection at the start of 2024 was worth $14,376.24. I had a total of 580 items to make up that total. In terms of the updates for how those have moved, the first thing to talk about is what I have brought in. So I do have a little sort of mini Chanel haul for you in this video. This is the only thing that's come into my makeup inventory that it, over quarter one. I didn't buy anything else makeup related. But yeah, my friend and I, did go to the Chanel. There are some very noisy birds outside, so I'm really sorry if you can hear that. I wasn't really intending to buy anything in quarter one, to be totally honest, but my friend and I actually went to a Chanel exhibition in Edinburgh, which was to celebrate the launch of the Nuit Blanche lipstick line. Um, so these are limited edition, and it was partly, yes, I like the lipstick, it's the one I'm wearing today, but also kind of like just a memento of us going through and going to the exhibition together and whatnot. So that was why I bought it, and this is what I bought. So I did buy one of the lipsticks. I already spoiled it for you by telling you that's what I'm wearing just now. The Rouge Allure Velvet, it's in this limited edition white packaging, and the shade that I bought is 4AM. I have taken footage for a short for this, but I haven't edited it yet, so I don't know if it's worked or not, but I might have a short that I can link you to so that you can go look at it in detail. But this is the lipstick and this is what it looks like in the bullet. This is what it looks like on my lips. I'm really, really happy with it. That was the main thing that I bought. I did also get some samples, so just let's quickly touch on them. So first of all, I got a sashi sample of the number one de Chanel Red Camellia Revitalizing Cream. So that will go into my skincare update. I also got a sample of the Noir Allure Mascara. I have had this mascara before. I actually really like it. I think it's beautiful on the lashes, really separating, really lengthening. I actually think Chanel mascaras generally are very good. I really like them. However, they all smudge on me. So I'm not actually going to add this into my inventory. I'm just going to pass it along to a friend that I know it, she's not as much of a smudger as me. Um, so yeah, she'll be able to use it without it smudging. If I use it, I just get panda eyes, unfortunately. So I did get this, but I wouldn't be adding it into the inventory. And then the reason I am sneaking my perfume update into here is because I did also get a sample of my favourite. I also I have a full size of this, um, but it is Le Leon from the Chanel Exclusives range. On a total side note, I was in Edinburgh again yesterday. And I was smelling the new Le Comité perfume from the Exclusives range. Beautiful, like completely different from Le Leon, like such a soft skin scent, really irisy, powdery. Wasn't mad on the opening, which was a lot more floral, but the settle, beautiful. Could definitely see me, once I get rid of a couple of things, like use some things up, I could I could very much see me bringing that one into my collection. Um, but I do have Le Leon and I would definitely, if, as soon as I finish my full size, I would repurchase it 100%. But it's nice to have this little small size to top up with during the day. So this is a little 1.5ml sample of Le Leon, so that needs added into my perfume inventory. But we'll come back to that at the end. And then, just really quickly, I thought you would like to see, this isn't going in my inventory at all, but this was a little free gift that I got. It's a little lipstick holder. Rouge Allure Velvet Nuit Blanche. The little zip pull is like a little Chanel mini compact. So the Nuit Blanche collection, if you've not seen it, is all like themed around different hours of the night. So the lipstick that I got is called 4 AM. Um, and you know, it starts, I think at midnight, goes through to six in the morning. Margot Robbie is in the advertising campaign and basically she's doing a different thing like every hour of the night. Because it is like a nighttime themed collection, the inside of this, I don't think it looks as nice on camera. It's like black with silver sparkles. A starry night sky. 
which I thought was really, really pretty. Obviously, that's not really going on my inventory as such, but I thought you guys would like to see it. So to summarise that little haul in terms of the numbers from the inventory, I'm adding in a quantity of one, one item coming in, and the lipstick was worth $50. So that's coming in. In terms of what's going out, first of all, through usage, through empties, I finished three items, and those three items were worth a total of $57.80. So I used up more than I brought in, which I'm pleased about, even though they're not directly in categories, I didn't finish up any lipsticks. If you want to see what I finished up, I have posted my empties video, so I will link that up in the eye, and you can go check that out. Also, in terms of going out, but not through usage, through decluttering, I did do a makeup declutter. Again, I did a whole video about that, so if you want to watch it, I'll stick that one up in the eye as well. From the declutter, I decided to get rid of 18 items, and those 18 items altogether were worth $572.12. So that means that my overall makeup inventory, value-wise, has gone down from $14,376.24 to $13,796.32. So I'm really pleased we've like come down under the 14,000, so very, very pleased with that. Quantities wise, I opened at 580, brought in one item, emptied out three, decluttered 18, and my quantity is now down to 560. So not quite as dramatic sounding a reduction in quantity, but a cleaner number, easier to understand, 580 down to 560 quantity wise. So I'm happy, I think that's a good reduction overall. Now I'm not going to go through like every category of makeup individually at every update because especially in the makeup inventory, like there's not going to be a lot of change. You know, I'm not going to be finishing five eyeliners from update to update, but I am just going to update you on the category goals that I set at the start for some specific categories. So primer, my opening quantity was 14. My goal is to get that down to nine by the end of the year. So I'm aiming to use five and per quarter, that means I'm aiming to use 1.25 primers, theoretically. Obviously, I can't really use a quarter and report it back to you, but in terms of the empties, it means I need to use at least one every quarter and hopefully over the course of the four, also finish another one. So for quarter one, I finished one primer, which means that my new total is 13. So I've got four still to go to hit my goal. And I, I feel like that, I feel like I'll be able to do that. I'm not too worried about the primer. On to foundations. So I opened with 18. I'm aiming to get that down to nine, which means reducing it by nine which means using up two and a quarter foundations every quarter. I don't know if I was just not thinking straight when I did that. I do have a couple of sample foundations, so that could make up a lot of it. Um, but I haven't finished any this quarter at all. So i uh, still got nine to go and three quarters of the year, although it will be May by the time you're seeing this. So like, we're quite a chunk. We're actually a third of the way into the year by the time I'm actually uploading this. So quite a chunk into the year. And I've not made any kind of movement into that number yet. So I definitely need to kind of prioritise the samples because that's how I'm going to get the quantity. But yeah, that's what's good about doing the quarterly check-ins is that I've taken note that I've got a big goal there that I kind of wasn't actively thinking about. And now I know I need to check in more kind of more consciously when I'm deciding what foundation to reach for and prioritise the samples and the ones that I can finish quickly. So Hopefully, we'll see. Hopefully, we'll catch up in quarter two. Fingers crossed. Concealer, I opened with five. I was aiming to get that down to three. So that's a total reduction of two, which means using up half a concealer per quarter. And one of the things I finished in quarter one was a concealer. So I've used up one, which means that my new total is four concealers. So I'm aiming to finish one more concealer by the end of the year. And I do have one in my project pan. So that should be doable, hopefully. For powders, I opened with 10. My aim was to reduce that to nine, so I was aiming to finish one up. And I actually finished one up in the first quarter of the year, so I have hit the goal, which I'm very happy about. I'd like to see that category reduce further. However, I don't know if I could finish another one within this year, or if I can just do a lot of work this year to then hopefully finish another one early next year, theoretically. We'll see. Any others that I finished this year would be such a bonus, but I'm really glad I finished one. I've got it down to nine, so I've got it from a double figure category to a single figure, which I'm very pleased about. I am very interested. I've never yet tried, and it's been around for ages, 
the Charlotte Tilbury powder which I know people love so I'm really interested in trying that and the other one that I'm very interested in which is new is the new Hourglass one so the powder that I actually finished if you watched my empties video was the Hourglass loose powder absolutely love that and I said in that video when I was filming it that I would definitely repurchase that which I definitely would but I am now very interested in the pressed powder I definitely would use pressed powder more like you would take it out with you the, what the Hourglass one comes with a puff in the compact so you don't even need to be taking a brush about with you it's a lovely big mirror for traveling about with basically very interested in that powder however I would like to keep this as a single figure category now so if I was going to be bringing a powder in I would definitely like to be finishing another one I don't know if I could maybe do a bit of decluttering I think I need to like just use them all and check that I still like them all and whatever I think because I was trying to finish the Everglass one I've not touched a lot of the others so I'll need to have a, a flick through see if there's any that I think I could either finish if I focused on them or any that I just feel have had their time and it's you know that it's time to let them go so we'll see we'll see what happens there but definitely I'm very interested in bringing both of those powders in so I would like to see some more movement on that category by the end of the year to allow me to do that. Mascara I opened with 12 I'm aiming to get that down to 8 so I'm going to finish up four mascaras so one per quarter so I didn't actually finish any in quarter one but I've definitely been doing that thing where I've been rotating between mascaras so I think I'm actually going to have at least two possibly three mascara empties and my quarter two empties and I can say that it's not even the end of April at the moment when I'm filming this so yeah like I'm not worried about mascara I definitely think I'll catch that up although I didn't finish any in the first quarter I think I'll catch that up by the second quarter no problem at all the last category that I've set a specific goal on is lip balms and primers I opened with 12 again I'm aiming to reduce that to eight so I want to use four so one per quarter and I didn't finish any in quarter one now I do have one in work that is very close to being done and again I've been doing that same thing where I've been rotating between a few so I feel like by the end of the year I could probably catch this up but I do think I need to put a bit of an emphasis on particularly the one I've got in work make sure I get that done ASAP to get a new one into work and then have one that I'm working on at home as well so what I'll do is I'll finish the one in work because that's where I most like reapply through the day then the one that I've been using at home I'll put into work and bring up a new one for home so I think I think I should be able to catch it up fingers crossed for my overall kind of goal for the year I opened as I said with a total quantity of 580 items in my makeup inventory and I would like to reduce that to 500 by the end of the year at the moment as I said at the start of the video we're now sitting with 560 so I reduced by 21 between my empties and my declutters but I did bring one in so my current total is 560 items so I would definitely like to get down by that means basically if I use up another 20 items per quarter or realistically declutter I think you have to accept with makeup it's going to be decluttering rather than finishing up makeup for the most part especially for somebody like me like I'm not I've got 580 items to use you know like how long does it take to pan one item if you if you do project panning or anything? I've had project pans where I've worked all year to hit pan on something and I could probably get another full year use of that product before it would actually be finished. So I'm not going to finish 580 items, we just need to accept that. So it'll probably be decluttering. But yeah, I brought it down by 20 in quarter one, so I'm actually bang on where I would like to be so 20 per quarter is ideal which is what we've managed this quarter so I'm really pleased with that overall so yeah I think like a little bit more focus on foundations and lip balms in quarter two that's what I need to try and catch up on but I feel like I'm okay with with everything else um we're, we're on track definitely need to declutter a little bit more I think I'm going to do an eyeshadow palette declutter quite soon so stay tuned for that but anyway that is everything for the makeup so let me just really quickly squeeze in my sort of official perfume update so as I've already shown you I got my little sample of my Lilio that's the only thing that has come into my perfume inventory so it's a quantity of one and a value of six dollars and fifty cents that has come in I then didn't finish any perfumes up and I didn't declutter any so in terms of my perfume opening numbers opening value was four thousand nine hundred fifty five dollars and forty two cents I've added in $6.50, haven't used, haven't decluttered. So my new total is $4,961.92. And then my opening quantity was 50. I've added in one, 
didn't use any, didn't declutter any, so my new quantity on my perfume inventory is 51. So I definitely want to get that down. I'm not going to panic about it, it's like it's one sample, it's not a problem, I'm going to finish that no problem at all. So it's, it's fine, I'm not panicking, but I definitely, I feel like being over 50 is going in the wrong direction, like I definitely want to get that significantly down. As I said in the perfume intro, I'm trying not to set too many big goals around perfume. I've got one perfume in my project pan for this year and I've also got one product from my perfume adjacent category which is the shower gel that matches that perfume in that same project and I'm also setting myself a goal of finishing my Beauty body oil before the end of the year. So those are my three goals for the perfume category. I'm trying not to set too many because I really like to use perfume to match my outfit rather than just perfume that I'm putting on for the sheer sake of it. Once I've finished the Mon Guerlain that's in my project pan, I'm definitely going to try and still knock out a few of those samples whilst being able to wear my perfume collection in a way that feels natural and organic. I do kind of want to bring it down but I also don't want to force it so I think that's a nice compromise. Mon Guerlain's in the project pan and then I'll try and knock some samples out before the end of the year as well. So yeah, that is everything for my quarter one skit. I was going to say skincare, it's not my quarter one skincare update. That is everything for my quarter one makeup and perfume inventory update. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. Bye!